welcome back to another video uh, with the Yard of the Smuff. Today we are going to be um, doing another video on um, on the movie Avatar because I've seen the last uh, video that I put up, well the first video that I put up, put up about uh, Avatar and the, the planet and, and this like the concept of the of the Earth flight moon because uh, Pandora is, is slightly smaller than the Earth. So I found some mistakes that I did, um, and I just wanted to uh, just redo it again. So uh, we are going to redo it again um, now. In the last video that I did about uh, problems with Avatar, and that was a long time ago, about a month ago I did it, I actually used um, uh, Uranus because it looks similar to um, the, uh, it looks similar to Polythemus. That's the name of the gas giant in Avatar, uh, and um, it is about the size of Jupiter, probably a little bit bigger. Uh, we're not really sure how big Polythemus is, but James Cameron says it's about as big as Saturn. Um, and I have no idea why Polythemus is blue, but um, it is actually blue. If you go and watch the movie Avatar, Polythemus is blue and it is fucking huge in the sky in, uh, when you're on Pandora. Um, literally it's, it's absolutely ginormous. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just get a handful of moons. Because what I found out that was really like really really cool intel uh, or information was you, we see uh, four moons around Polythemus in the movie Avatar but Polythemus really has 17 moons so I'm now thinking like um, like there's more and more things appearing like there's people that are talking about the movie Avatar and Obviously, Avatar 2, 3, 4, and 5. There is going to be an Avatar 5. It has been confirmed uh, because uh, James Cameron. Uh, um, people have been saying that James Cameron has said that he's like really gotten into this Avatar thing, and uh, he, he he wants to like make it grow uh, further and further. So. Anyway, back to the Polythemus, so I don't know how to put a spell Polythemus, so I'm just gonna l leave it, like, blank. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put a random moon in orbit. Well, it's a planet, but still, it's a, like, Pandora is fucking huge. It's, uh, so put nine nine seven five times the mass of Earth, or similar or simpler terms, zero point nine eight mass of Earth. But here it says zero point nine nine eight mass of Earth. Um, it is made similar to Earth. I the thing that that confuses me is how did how the hell did a a Saturn sized gas giant get from the outer uh, edges of its its star system to the habitable zone and it's just got me thinking like how 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 did it do it how like how how so what I've been thinking like happened was uh, when because obviously um, uh, Polythemus with uh, Pandora, they orbit Alpha Alpha Centauri A, or was actually called 
Alpha Centauri Alpha uh, that's something that I found out nine months ago was the A and B they mean Alpha Centauri Alpha and Alpha Centauri Beta um, so keep that in mind but hopefully this is going to remain on orbit I don't want it to fling off um, so we're going to actually change the way that this looks so we are going to put an atmosphere now the atmosphere on Pandora is actually pretty it's a little bit thicker than Earth so you're going to feel a little bit heavier well you, Pandora is smaller but its atmosphere is a little bit thicker so if Pandora is the same size as Earth uh, its atmosphere will be the same density as Earth, so you feel the same on Pandora. It's it, it's confusing. It really is confusing. Um, it it confused the hell out of me. Um, if you just heard that metallic bang, that was my brother being an absolute div. Um, but anyway, uh, the temperature is surprisingly rising on. Excuse me, <laughs> Pandora on Pandora. So temperature is running. I'm gonna put this at thirty. Because I think the Earth's albedo is thirty, twenty nine. And the temperature is still rising. Let me put that up to forty five. Speed things up a little bit. Now it said that Polythemus stays in the sky of Pandora for about near half of the year so like you're on like the surface of Pandora and for about six and a half months all you see is this gigantic blue gas giant in the sky and then for the for the next six and a half months um, you don't really see it. Well, for the next like couple of months, you don't see it at all. But um, when you when you when you got it in the sky and you got um, you're on the night side, uh, surprisingly, poor Themis actually lights up Pandora's night side a little bit. So obviously, you have bioluminous luminescence. Um, on the planet so well moon my apologies I call it planet because it's obviously evening just that smidge smaller than earth um, and so you it gets confusing after a while let's just leave it at that it really does get confusing after a while um, and oh my god look how gorgeous that looks that looks absolutely like it actually looks like Pandora to me of course probably not to you guys but to me it looks like it uh, if you go if, like you can find the map for Pandora so if you go on Google type in Pandora map it should appear um, and it, it's it actually like shows you the locations of home of, of home tree the other home trees that are on the on Panda uh, and the tree souls being says multiple tree souls um, the Omatakaya uh, uh, their tree souls uh, because every clan uh, they have their separate tree souls uh, and the tree of voices as well so um, I I, I think it will be pretty interesting to see if James Cameron actually adds in the different clans because obviously the different clans were added in to Avatar, the original film, but we didn't get to know them. Uh, we didn't get their names or, or whatever. Uh, but I think it will be pretty interesting to know their names. Um, and just, just, just to see something new in Avatar 2 because I think that would be absolutely awesome um, wait what 
hang on a minute. Hang on guys, we got something wrong here. How in the hell is Pandora bigger than how how is this planet? Right? The Earth is three thousand seven hundred no three thousand no six thousand three hundred and seventy one kilometers in radius. Pandora here is 6,412 kilometers radius, but its mass is less than the Earth. Uh, how the hell does that work out? Oh, I get it now. I get it. Hang on, because the iron, the iron core on Earth is 20.1 moons, and this is 17.3 moons. Oh, I get it now. My mistake, I apologise guys. My mistake, I've been an absolute prick. But, I mean, let, let's just look at the size difference, right? Let's look at, let's look, look at Pandora. Look at the size of that. There's a massive size difference. <laughs> um, but, if you guys want to leave comments in a comment section below and just uh, uh, like give your that put your point across um, because I, I really want to know what you guys think uh, about about because to me it confuses me it really does confuse me because Pandora is, is about the same size as Earth it's a little it's it's a little bit smaller than the Earth, but in this simulation here, somehow it is bigger. I have no idea how, but it is. Um, but the, the atmospheric com composition of Pandora's atmosphere is about, if I get this right, is about 30% oxygen, 69% uh, Nitrogen and one zero point seven percent uh, carbon uh, monoxide and carbon dioxide and so that and just like uh, some lighter uh, um, uh, uh, gases, some different gases. So. Uh, it's just something that we've got to think of. Um, that that is the absolute com composition. Sorry, I can't say it right. I've got fucking speech problems. It's just pissing me off. Um, so the atmosphere, at yeah, atmospheric compound of Pandora. It's got more oxygen than the Earth has. But the oxygen on Pandora is toxic to humans, so I don't know how it's toxic. Um, I think there's different forms of oxygen. So are uh, the oxygen that we, we breathe? I think it's oxygen peroxide H four, and then the oxygen on Pandora is. Ox oxygen oxygen dioxide H7 so it's <laughs> oxygen dioxide H7 that's something you don't want to breathe because it it it's like somebody strangling you really that's what it's like so if you're gonna pan here yeah. um, if, if Pandora was real if you went to Pandora uh, you would need to take some kind of suit or uh, uh, a rebreather or some kind of stuff with you just to um, help you breathe because breathing the um, uh, oxygen dioxide H7 on Pandora that's something that, that's going to really mess up your day um so, uh, 
they just <sighs> to be honest like uh, if you get the size commands or not let's just like the other moons around polythemus <sighs> we, we th think of it like this like you, you know um saturn you got titan right so titan is it's pretty big and you got the other moons like my like look, look at the size of this right just, just look at the size of this like what the fuck man so panda is like that really most of its moons are about this size that's because panda is eating up most of the shit <laughs> Um, I, I apologize for my bad language and uh, try not to use it in the future but Pandora really ate most of the material that was in orbit around Polythemus um, and the same thing obviously happened to Jupiter, Saturn and Uranus and uh, whoever's saying like Uranus then they're obviously being silly in a way because a lot of people don't like that name they like Uranus better because it's actually called Uranus not the other name um, but you're, you're probably like scream trying to scream down the mic saying put in the other moves put in the other moves I'm not going to do that because some moons are absolutely massive like for example if I could get a big moon up like look, look at the sizes right look at the sizes absolutely huge that's what five times the radius of our moon I believe if I'm correct yep five times the radius well two and a half times the radius so I say yup I might as well put one here uh, I'll put another one here and then I get oh that's an even smaller one okay Oh, that's an even whoa! What the hell? That's an even smaller moon. So if I get this, and then I get. Oh my god! That should be classed as a small moon, not a. What was that? That's not the same moon, is it? That's, that's, that's a giant moon. That's a giant moon. That's a giant moon. That's a. Oh. Oh, that's a. I don't know what colour that is. Uh, I don't, I'm not really looking at the colours really. Minute said that Polythemus' moon, other moons are not very nice to look at. Like its closest moon. Um, I don't remember the name of it. We don't. Uh, the problem is, is that the the only moon in the Polythemus system is Pandora. A state. It doesn't matter what bloody object you discover, you need to name it because people will be like, oh, what's this object? What's the object? What's this object? And so on and so on. So you need to name. This is directly to James Cameron. Like, seriously, you need to name the other moons. Like, I'm begging you because I'm getting confused. Like, what moon is what? Uh, because the inner moon, the innermost moon, people are saying that the innermost moon should be, should like be covered in lava because it's it's so close to Polythemus, like, like this is like, it shouldn't even be here. It should be about here. Like, just look how close that is. Like, in the movie Avatar, all the moons are so incredibly close to Polythemus. The universe moon is about this close. Right, let's just see. Let's just see how close that is. Oh my flipping god! That is absolutely huge. Do you get it now? Like the Roche limit. The Roche. Basically, what the Roche limit is is 
it's the limit so uh, this moon is on the outer edges of the race limit so it's safe but once the moon gets about here it will be ripped to shreds by tidal forces so the Roche limit is about here this is the outer Roche limit about here so this moon is safe, all these moons are safe but if a moon was here then it will get ripped to shreds um, but all the moons in, in Avatar right, the NMS moon is like here like how the actual fuck is it orbiting Polythemus? Because Pol we could see the visible atmosphere of Polythemus, right? It's blue. But its invisible atmosphere extends to about here. And the Innovus Moon orbits about here. It orbits inside the bloody atmosphere of the gas giant. It should slow the orbit down. <sighs> and not only that, there's a. Like in the movie Avatar, right? Um, I ha I had to look into this because I was absolutely baffled. Uh, we obviously see Alpha Centauri Alpha, and we have we see Alpha Centauri Beta over here somewhere. But then there's a uh, another light here. You you know when you normally look up in the sky and you see Venus, it was about that bright. Like you you have you had like Alpha Centauri Beta there, and you had like. I don't know, it, it, it's a planet or something, but I think that there's not just Polythemus, I think there's another planet, I, I think it was a rocky planet, so it's about, it's, a, it's about like here, so it orbits about here, um, I'm not sure how big it is, but what I do know is, it's a pretty big planet, it's bigger than Earth, by bloody far it's bigger than Earth, I don't know, probably about five times the size of Earth. Uh, but it's a really, 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 really big planet. Like not not really big, like but it's just like bigger than Earth by a substantial amount. Uh, but like it just the more I look into this film, Avatar. I love Avatar. It's my favorite film. It really, is my favorite film. Um. But the more I look into Avatar, the more confused I, I, I get. Like, Alpha Centauri Alpha, in real life, Alpha Centauri Alpha, it's, what, 8 billion years old. It should be dead by now. Because stars, like, 1.1 the mass of the sun, only live for about six billion years Alpha Centauri Alpha is eight and a half billion years I know it says six billion years here because it's gotten to the max age limit for the star and it should have already gone bloody supernova but still like it should be dead like how the hell is the star still running I, I have no idea but you know, I, I don't know what you guys think like, it's just, it just confuses the hell out of me uh, but this planet, uh, I, I don't know if it's a planet or if it's another star, like way out in the background. It might be Proxima Centauri, because Proxima Centauri, like you got um, Alpha Centauri B about here, and you got Proxima Centauri, it's about here so if we zoom in on here and we turn off all its yeah see I think I think I think it's either planet or it's proximate satellite because if we look at it and I can't even there you go there it is there's proximate satellite and there's Alpha, uh, uh, Alpha Satoi Beta there. But the thing that really gets on my nerves 
but every time I try and make a binary system with a Earth-like planet with an atmosphere, this happens, and it pisses me off. And then I start thinking, like, how the hell do we change this? Like, I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm flicking from one thing to another, but it, it, it confuses me. Like, how is the night side of uh, Pandora not lit up by Alpha Centauri Beta? Like, Alpha Centauri Beta is not even a bloody light year away. It's about what? Um, It's about 62 astronom astron astronomical units. How far away is that? That is roughly... An astronomical unit is about... One astronomical unit... Uh, sorry, one astronomical unit is about 0 0.00001588 light years. And then what's what what was it again? Sixty two point two. So how far away is sixty two point two? So sixty two point two That is zero point zero 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 nine eight four light years away. Yeah there's a difference there. A really big difference. Uh, so <gasps> why did I fucking do that I apologize I just started the bloody thing and I was like no don't study <laughs> but I just I just don't know guys I don't know what you guys think because this is just <sighs> this is confusing me like James Cameron is absolutely amazing at making films. He really is. He's my favourite film director. I mean, without him, I don't think... I, I think if another film director tried to make Avatar, I think they'll fail. That's not me saying that they're bad. I'm just saying, like, they don't really have the same mind as James Cameron. James Cameron is absolutely bloody amazing. He, he, he made Titanic, for fuck's sake. He, he completely conquered that and then and then he comes out with um, Avatar amazing I think he made Aliens as well like he made the entire Alien series it's oh, I just don't know it's absolutely bloody amazing but Avatar like wow what a crack of film and now we got like Avatar 2, 3, 4, 5 possibly 6 I don't know, possibly six. But it's just really cool. So that's all the negatives I have to say. All the positives about Avatar is like you you take an earth and you just sticking it in the system. <laughs> and that's really cool. Uh, but the difference is this the lights aren't like yellow or like uh, colour what you would say like amber, orange or whatever you bloody call it, or white. They're blue. And that is super cool. Uh, they're actually blue. Um, that's because of all the bioluminescence trees, uh, goodness what, and plant life, because they give off a bluish light. Um, and beca obviously because of the atmosphere, um, you have uh, oxygen dioxide H7, and that um, reflects blue light that's why you got blue atmosphere but that's also because why Earth's atmosphere is blue because Earth has high uh, uh, oxygen peroxide H4 in its atmosphere and H4 also reflects blue light so yeah but the difference between those two oxygen molecules is uh, H7 will kill you while H4 you can breathe. Now you're probably asking me, like, can you name the other other ones? No, I'm not gonna try that <laughs> because in a ho uh, oxygen peroxide you you could go right up to H12, 
23. I'm not going to name all them, that's just fucking stupid. So, I might do that in another video. But you just don't want to mess around with uh, oxygen. Uh, you can also get oxygen monoxide. And that is really, really, uh, right, that's, uh, that's the, on the explosive end of the scale. That's something you got to watch out for, but, um, man, Pandora, damn, it's a wonderful world, but you do not want to be on this planet, no way, not without some kind of defense, because the animals on this moon will kill you. Or it's either the animals will kill you, or the natives, or the Navi, will either stick an arrow of poison into your heart, or they are going to like tear you to shreds because they are extremely protective of the plant life and the animal life on Pandora, as we saw in the film uh, Avatar um, and I, I've actually been asking myself like how many people actually wanted to see the actors of Avatar uh, I haven't looked into that yet but I think possibly everybody who's watched Avatar <laughs> uh, I certainly want to personally see the actors of Avatar but I'm just like I become super nervous when I meet people who are from like films things like that. I've never met anybody from films but still um, so <sighs> that's really what I've got to say is I've talked about the atmosphere and the size and vlogness what about Pandora but let's talk about uh, Polythemus and her I say her Beast Polythemus is a female name. So Polythemus and her other moons, surrounded by her uh, children, uh, as I like to say. Um, let's just talk about Polythemus for 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 once. So what I think what happened was Polythemus and uh, her siblings that orbited Alpha Centauri A and B when they were forming is um, there is a lot of chaos out here out in the beyond the habitable zone and Polythemus was gesturing for a place and then she was suddenly kicked into the habitable zone uh, had a little bit of a wild time trying to settle in I managed to set one into just a tad closer than the earth is to the sun so uh, so Polythemus is now like in the how in the what I call as the tropical hap, uh, so or tropical line because uh, the earth is about no if I get this right the earth is about here right and Polythemus is here so Polythemus I'd say is in the tropical uh, line uh, uh, so this is where this is the line where you could get mostly tropical rainforest and stuff because the temperature is going to be a little bit warmer uh, and I think that's why the Earth doesn't have that many tropical rainforests because it's further out, further away from the sun um, than it is. Um, but when Polythemus migrated in, uh, the material in the like in, in where the plant uh, where the rocky plants were meant to form got swallowed up or got caught in the grasp of Polythemus's gravitational pull. Um, and she captured most of the material, uh, probably through thrown uh, some of it out to form, I don't know, some mysterious ring system out here somewhere that we, that in Avatar the films we just haven't discovered yet. So I think that's where uh, 
the her mood came from, but something just doesn't add up about Pandora. For one, Pandora is way too big. Literally, it's too big uh, to orbit poor things. I think Pandora is a captured planet. And I'm not sure how many people will agree with that, but I think Polythemus, I think she captured this planet. Because the maximum size for a moon around a gas giant is about the size of Mars. And I'm not joking there. About the size of Mars. That's the maximum size for a moon around uh, a gas giant. Now, if Polythemus was more than 10 times the mass of Jupiter um, then I think it will be able to have moons about the size of Earth but Polythemus is not 10 times the mass of Jupiter it's either the size of Jupiter or a little bit smaller so where the hell or where where wait just where did Pandora come from? I think Pandora was orbiting Alpha Centauri A around here, uh, around here, like where my mouse cursor is, uh, like in the green habitable zone. I think Pandora was orbiting there, and then poor th and then poor thing is comes in, uh, grabs Pandora. Uh, Pandora then starts to orbit Polythemus, uh, but Pandora is like orbiting, like getting smacked by like asteroids and godness what that brings water to Pandora. I think Pandora was extremely lucky. I think, I think Pandora was because, because you got, you got, in the film, I know Pandora and Polythemus isn't real, but I think in the film I think they were really lucky like to have like I just it's just really really interesting like to be able to tap into the neural neural network of your planet that is at, no both your moon my apologies for your moon that is just amazing that it really is so where the earth did where on earth did um, Pandora come from I think it's a captured planet I, I really do think because I've obviously I've tried it with Saturn and it, it, you just you do it is impossible to get a moon the size of Pandora to form a moon the size of Pandora around uh, a, plant, uh, a, a gas giant the size of Jupiter so it just really begs the question like where the earth did Pandora come from um, but I just I just don't know like the temperature on Polythemus is only minus four degrees for God's sake, that's comfortable. That is super comfortable, not super comfortable, but still it's comfortable. Let's look at the temperature on 73 degrees centigrade. Should we just turn that up a little bit? There you go, now the temperature's starting to drop. I, the temperature on Pandora, I think it's a little bit warmer than on Earth. Probably about 20 degrees or 25 degrees. But around the more, uh, when you go more inland, uh, the frame rate has just absolutely died. My apologies. Um, when you go more inland you get into like more oh hang on more um I don't know why the frame rate is going absolutely nuts um uh, but anyway uh the rainforests become more crowded with trees and uh, god knows what 
and the temperature rises so when you're in like in, in the middle of a really like uh like I don't know, say you're in here right in the middle of this land mass right here I don't know what the hell has happened there anyway say you're uh let me see on on it so I don't know say you're about here you're going to be in really, really thick rainforests, and the temperatures. I know. Say you're on around here, around that the on the edges of a continent on Pandora. Uh, it's about I don't know twenty three degrees centigrade, while in the middle of the continent it's probably about thirty seven. So a huge increase in temperature, absolutely massive. It really is a big increase in temperature. Um, days. I don't know. They. I think it's Grace that says song about land being lucky that the days are similar similar to earth days so that's either the days on panda are a little bit longer or a little bit shorter now i won't be surprised if the days are shorter because of one crucial thing the size of panda and where she actually came from because i think she's captured planet I think Polythemus captured this planet and now Pandora is a moon. But it just I don't I just don't know. And I will be absolutely amazed if James Cameron and his amazing group watches this because it'll just be absolutely amazing. But I don't know what you guys think. Please drop a comment into the comment section below. Um don't forget to like subscribe and share this video um, uh, I hope that you guys can share and sh like share what what you think like just I don't know I don't really mind if it's like uh, I don't I don't don't really mind what it is and that was a lag spike I apologize I really do apologize for that um, but as I was saying, please uh, leave comment in the comment section below. Just just leave what you think. I uh, doesn't matter what you think. Just leave what you think about this. Um, sorry, that's my brother entering the room, and he's incredibly loud when he enters the room. But anyway, uh, it it help me out a lot. Uh, If you guys can uh, leave comments, um, it will just help me out because then I'll be able to understand what you guys think. Uh, so anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you like, side, uh, like, subscribe, and share this video. It'll help me a lot if you do share this video and also subscribe. Thank you for watching. This is the this is the artist Moff Science.